In this video, I show you how to do several popular customizations with the lists. First, for modern layouts, I'll show you how to remove the banner or change it to any image you want, even if it's too big. Then I show you how to change wallpapers to what you want regardless of size and how to get the best quality out of them. We'll also go over how to add preview pics, including the big high quality ones. And then I'll show you how to make the modern table transparent and even adjust the color. Uh, and finally, I can show you how to change wallpapers on classic layouts and add preview pics to classic as well. And then at the end, we'll go over tips to fix up the quality of any wallpapers and preview pics on either list type. To make any changes to our list, we'll first need to go to list settings through the list icon at the top of the page. Um, from here, we go to list style design to change our list style, including the banner. Uh, click the theme where you have the bubble shaded next to anime. Here at the top, you can control this banner. Uh, set it to no if you want to remove it completely from view, and set it to yes and click the choose file button to change the image for it. You'll be able to select a picture from your device to use as the new banner. If they reject the image because it's too big, well that's no problem, I have a trick to get by that. Upload the image to Imgur, which I linked you to under the video in the description. And after uploading it, edit it as I do here. Set the number on the left here to 1000 or around that. Then apply the change and save it and download this new version. Upload that new version because it will be optimized to use as a quality banner now. You're going to change the wallpaper for modern lists on the same page you customized the banner just now. Um, this section controls the wallpaper by default. You simply click the choose file button and choose a wallpaper on your device that will become the list wallpaper after saving. But unfortunately, many times the simple way will not work. You can get an error if the wallpaper is too large or too wide, or if you have a pre-made layout, it may override this wallpaper and you won't see it at all. In these cases, for list wallpaper, you use the custom CSS box circled here with an image host website. That way, you can use a wallpaper of any size on any layout. First, go to an image host like Imgur, which I've linked you to below, and upload the wallpaper you want to use there. Afterwards, copy the share link or direct link it gives you. Now go back to your list style and open the CSS edit box. A check for large text that says something like background image or wallpaper. Uh, this would be where the codes are that control the background on your list. 
under that text should be a line of code that says background image and after that URL followed by parentheses. In these parentheses you enter the link to the wallpaper you uploaded. Delete what's in the parentheses and paste the link you copied earlier into those parentheses. If the link doesn't say .jpg or .png at the end, you'll need to add .jpg now as I do here. Finally, save it with this button, and that should change the wallpaper for all pre-made layouts as far as I've seen. If the wallpaper is blurry, it may be too small, so check the end of the video for a tip on fixing the quality of blurry wallpapers and preview pics. If you're not using a pre-made layout at all like here, you'll have to enter the code manually to use really large wallpapers. Go to Add Custom CSS section, open it, and write the codes you see on screen here into that box. If you can't add codes or it won't open, refresh the page until it allows you to do so or reset the theme. Now upload the wallpaper to Imgur and copy the direct link or share link it gives you. Paste it into the parentheses. Uh, add .jpg to the end like I do here if it's not there and save. You can also add a couple extra lines before the closing brackets with the lines of code shown on screen here. This will make your background image not scroll and not repeat and also fill in the screen nicely. If the wallpaper is blurry, it may be too small, so check the end of the video for a tip on fixing the quality of blurry wallpapers and pics. I've also added the text below that you need to add to your custom CSS box. Um, you can simply copy it or use it as a reference. The modern list comes with small preview pics by default. Uh, to turn them on, just go to your list settings and check the box next to image and then the submit button above to save. If you want the larger preview pics, there are a few methods. Um, you can install a pre-made layout that already has that setting. Those are linked below and I already have a whole video on installing pre-made layouts. Or you can go to a topic on adding preview pics manually to add them to any layout, even the default ones that you start with. To use these topics, all you're going to have to do is visit the topic and copy and paste some codes into your CSS edit box and save.
Now, if the pics are blurry or end up missing somehow in the future, please check the end of this video for advice on higher image quality. Now, to customize the layout table itself, check under the video description and click the link for light layouts if your layout table is white, or click for dark layouts if your layout table is black. Um, copy the codes from those pages and paste them into the add custom CSS box and save. After that, your table should be see-through. If it's not, then you didn't paste them completely, or your pre-made layout overrides my codes and you'll have to get help to make them transparent. Now, if transparency works, you can adjust the transparency with the last numbers here. Uh, keep them between 0 and 1. Something like 0.5 is best. You can adjust the colors with the other numbers here. I'll make it reddish here, but notes in the code should help a little bit with how to set the color as you want it. Changing the wallpaper on the classic list design requires you to upload the wallpaper to Imgur or a similar image hosting site. Then you copy the direct link or share link it gives you. Now you go to your list settings then list style design and finally click the link where you have your CSS code. Find a section that says something like wallpaper or background and then under that find background image and the parentheses after it. Delete what's in the parentheses as I do here and paste in your link which you copied earlier. If it doesn't say .jpg or .png at the end, add .jpg to the end like as I do here. Then save the style and your wallpaper should be changed to the one you uploaded to the image hosting site earlier. The classic style of list doesn't come with preview picks by default, so you have to add them through the code as well. You either use a pre-made layout which adds preview picks or a tutorial which adds preview picks. They are both linked under the video.
If you find your wallpaper is blurry on any layout, the reason may be it's too small, but first I would say to check your layout code for this line of blur code here. Uh, it's often located near the top by the wallpaper codes. Uh, this line of code makes some scenic backgrounds look a lot better, but it also makes some other wallpapers look blurry. So we want to delete that line for now and save. And here it fixed the issue. If that doesn't work for you, your wallpaper is probably too small for your screen. And in this case, you would need to download a bigger version of the wallpaper. You can drag the image off your device into Google Image, which I linked under the video, and it will find some larger versions you can download and use on your lists instead. This is also a great way to find who made the wallpaper and what characters are in it. And if you can't find a bigger version through Google Image, um, you can use this image upscaler, Waifu X2, I linked you to under the video, to make the wallpaper larger, but with good quality. After using these tools, you're gonna probably upload them to an image host like Imgur and use the wallpaper link as I showed you earlier in the video. So if you find cover pics or preview pics disappear on you or become blurry on any list type, refer to the link uh, Repair Broken Layouts under the video for ways to solve that issue. The fixes change a lot, so I try to keep that topic updated. You're probably going to have to copy a line of code into your CSS as I do here to fix the preview pic issue. Also remember that modern lists need to have this box checked next to image in order to see the preview pics as well. 